Hello people, in this video let us look at this uh, human osteology textbook by Indabir Singh. So this is osteology, so all about the bone and their uh, parts of the bone, the attachments of these bones, joints, all that comes in osteology. The study of bones, isn't it? So look inside. So, you don't need <coughs> this book if you are using Chaurasia, isn't it? Chaurasia, if you are using, that already has osteology, but anyways. So, bones of upper limb, clavicle, scapula, humerus, radius, ulna. Skeleton of the hand, okay. Joints, finally they come to joints. So they'll explain all the bones to you and finally come to the joints. So lower limb, so what and all do you have? Hip bone, femur, patella, which is a, what bone is it? Special name, right? It forms later. Tibia, fibula, okay. Then sternum, ribs, vertebral column. <coughs> Head and neck. Head and neck bones, right? Bones of head and neck, then bones of the skull. So, head and neck, what are they covering? Skull. Okay, skull again they have covered fully. Individual bones of the skull. What are there in the skull then? Mandible, maxilla, zygomatic bone, frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital. They have shown that all that here. Isn't it? Mandible, frontal, parietal, occipital. So everything is shown here. <clears throat> so how the humerus ossifies? This image is nice, isn't it? So you will be able to determine the age of the patient also. See, this is right hand. That's what I like. You know, whenever you put, you put only right hand, right side of the body. Or if you are mentioning, then you have to mention clearly. See, this is the right hand. So neatly they have mentioned. So here you have the distal phalanx, here you have the, <clears throat> what is this, proximal phalanx. So you have two phalanx here, is it? Distal phalanx, middle phalanx and the proximal phalanx, okay. Distal, middle, proximal. Here you have distal and proximal, there is no middle here in the thumb, okay. Then this is the metacarpal, then here you have the carpal bones, okay. So nice. They have shown you the movement of the joints and you need to know the muscle attachments also. So this is the origin of the muscle and this is the insertion of the muscle. Origin looks like they are showing in pink and insertion in blue which will be nice. So this book could be handy for you. See again here they are showing you the insertion. I like that. And again this is the right side image which again I like. Have they mentioned? But otherwise it, if it is not mentioned it should be right. Isn't it? And what are they showing here? Hold on. So this is a muscle. This muscle is what muscle? This is the origin of what? Abductor, abductor pollicis longus arises from the following. So this is having lateral part, the adjoining part of the introsseous membrane, posterior surface of the radius. Okay. And then you have the insertion which is here. So this is which finger? See if this is the metacarpal and this is the distal and this is the pro, uh, this is the distal and this is the proximal phalanx. This is the thumb, isn't it? So if this is the thumb, then I think we are looking at it as a posterior view. That is why radius is on this side and Anna is on this side. So I am guessing this is the right hand but posterior view. What do you say people? Because here as such they have not labeled it saying that which view it is and which hand it is. They have just written plate 34. Anyways, so what are these? Plantar introsi. So they are talking about the lower limb now. 
and what is this this is the foot i can know this is the calcaneus this is the cuboid okay fibula tibia so again here see the fibula was supposed to be on the lateral side isn't it so this is the posterior here i have shown that this is the posterior why there they did not write this is what i'm expecting you know that you write which view it is anyways some at least have that kind of okay these are the vertebra this is the first thoracic vertebra from above and this is the first thoracic vertebra from the lateral side good floor of the cranial cavity right half of the mandible in the medial side so this is right half see that's what i like you know you see that it is the right side so here but this is the inside view that's why they are saying it's from the medial side that you're looking at it so this is the right part of your mandible okay that's what i like very good okay anyways so this is the human osteology book and uh, who is this person who is in the uniform okay looks like he is the editor isn't it yeah editor okay guys so this is how this book is pretty handy if you want for osteology you can use that's it now guys bye bye